Hi, I'm Kaylee Hunter Gasparini from the Transcript. And you're watching Tell It Like It Is. In case you didn't know, this month is Asian and Pacific Islanders Heritage Month, a time to reflect on and celebrate culture and traditions. For my last week on the transcript, I wanted to learn more about the role heritage plays and how one conquers their goals. I talked to Dan Ko to hear about his journey and how his background has affected the way he approaches his political success. My name is Dan Ko. Um, during the day, I'm a partner at a technology startup called HQO. Um, at night, I'm an Andover Town Selectman, uh, which is the policymaking arm of the town of Andover. Um, and uh, I used to be a candidate for Congress in the 3rd District. I was fortunate that my father was the Commissioner of Public Health in Massachusetts, so he was in the public sector. Um, I was one of the only Asian Americans to ever serve in government at the time, and he was really a trailblazer in that regard. And the only way things get done is when more perspectives are at the table. I think there needs to be more minorities at the table, and Asian Americans especially, um, have a lot to offer. After reaching out to other politicians in hopes of another voice, I heard back from Representative Ro Khanna, a Democrat from California, who said, I'm proud to celebrate Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, particularly in an era when minority groups have experienced increasing discrimination and intolerance. I know from my own experience that diversity is our own strength. I also heard from students Karis Jackson and Jasmine Chia to hear how their heritage has affected their lives. I know that Northampton High School is like a predominantly white community, but I think it would be really cool if like we did things throughout the year that could celebrate diversity and like represent other cultures. For example, celebrating Chinese New Year would be really cool. When you're going into a predominantly white field, I definitely do think that your race can present certain challenges, but I think that if you work hard and you just do what you love, that your hard work will come through and yeah, so I think you should just go for it. So because of my raise, I think I might have to work a little bit harder to prove myself. Um, and in, like, in school in general, I think people think it comes easy to us, um, but I don't think that's necessarily what's always true. Never be ashamed of who you are or where you're from. Instead, go forth proudly and work hard to follow your dreams. Wishing you one last happy Friday.